So guys, if we're sticking with the theme of the budget uh, and you don't have money to buy a tire deflator uh, and you want to get on the beach, you want to let your tires right down, uh, there's an easy way you can do it. And that is just using your key. Take your valve cap off. You got the valve stem in there. You get the tip of your key. I normally count to about 100. And uh, normally they're down low enough to go on the beach from there. Another good way, guys, which is um, almost as cheap, is getting your valve stem remover. Um, just walking around all, to all the tires and just nipping the valve stem out just slightly, just until it starts hissing. I like to get down to about 10 PSI, um, especially for a lightweight vehicle like this. You've got to factor in the weight of the vehicle and how much it pushes down on the tires um, and how much they balloon out. So on a really lightweight vehicle like the Subaru Outback or maybe, you know, like a Subaru Forest or something like that, um, 10 PSI is good. If you've got a heavier vehicle, you know, you might want to consider going up a little bit more. And when you're happy with it, guys, just come back in with a valve stem remover again. Turning to the right, nip it back up. Check the PSI and away you go. Another thing I should say, uh, this may or may not apply to you. Uh, so just take this as general information. Turn your traction control off when you go on the beach because you're going to be losing traction on your wheels quite quite regularly. And when you do, the ECU is going to cut power to your engine. Doesn't get much better than this, does it, guys? Uh, the Subi, she's going awesome. Um, I've, I've bogged down a little bit in some really, really soft stuff, and uh, I backed up onto some rocks <laughs> uh, coming out of a track, and I got stuck for about you know a couple of seconds uh, before the, um, the the all wheel drive system uh, uh, took over and, and got me out. I'm not going to say where this is exactly, uh, but if you know Perth and uh, four wheel driving, especially this, the the southern section um, of the beaches you'll know where this is. I'm here on a Monday, which is awesome because I've only seen a couple of other people uh, and they were nice enough, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a little dip in the ocean, uh, cool off a little bit, all this filming, uh, sweating behind a hot camera is uh, hard work. And, um, and then we'll blast off the beach and head home. a bit of uh, burning. It looks like the tire is rubbing it's just on that inside edge of the uh, plastic fender. Looks like I might have to get the tin snips out and uh, trim her up. Thanks again for joining me guys. Uh, I think we've got out of that uh, fairly unscathed. She is rumbling and bumbling a bit um, at the front end and I really need to <laughs> get under there uh, and look at those lower control arms. All in all, mate, Subaru's on the beach. 
never underestimate them. Really light, plenty of power, really good um, all wheel drive system in a lot of them. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Guys, I'm gonna get the air compressor out. Uh, I'm gonna pump the tires back up to road pressure. Uh, I'm gonna head home. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching another episode of Australian Rural Adventures. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.